Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I have to pre-record this week and this is actually inspired by a conversation I had over the weekend. Um, first of all, I am obsessed with these Kit Kat espresso biscuit and ganache chocolate bars. Oh my God, they are so freaking good. They're like crack. Kit Kat is not sponsoring me. I just, oh, they smell delicious. Oh my God, I just discovered this the other day. And oh my God, they are so freaking good. If you have like a drier palate like me, you don't like things that are super sweet and you're more of a dark, cho dark chocolate fan. Oh my God, they're so good. They are so delicious. But anyway, um, I actually had a discussion about this over the weekend. I thought it was interesting enough to share that when I did my Captain Marvel review for patrons, oh yeah, help support this channel, become a monthly patron, patreon.com slash Leanna K. There's a PayPal link uh, in the description box below, an email address you can use for PayPal, you know, if you're still mad at Patreon. Um, but uh, it started, this started on Patreon because I did my Captain Marvel review and talked about how different things were in the 90s. And it, it really left me a little bit depressed, the movie, because like, oh, yeah. Things were a lot more fun in a lot of ways back then. I mean, we were all terrified of AIDS, but other than that, and, uh, you know, we were in a recession, but there were other things that were just, just sort of more fun. And I realized one of those things was sex ed. Um, we had mass market radio and television personalities educating us about sex. I'm talking about... Uh, Dr. Ruth Westheimer down in the States and then Sue Johansson up in Canada. Uh, there was a, a TV show, a local TV show in Toronto. I think she was syndicated on the radio nationally, but she would play with sex toys and so show people to put, and she was this like pinched face old lady with like obvious lesbian voice. That's just describing the voice. I have no idea if she was a lesbian or not. Probably not. But, um, you know, she was just, and Dr. Ruth kind of had the same thing. She was, I don't know, she's a German lady or something like that. But it was like these old ladies being very blunt about sex. And so when we were curious about something regarding sex, we could call up these, these shows and get put on the air and ask our questions. There is nothing like that now in mass consciousness. And so... Teenagers are learning about sex from porn, which even people in the porn industry go, this is a terrible idea. Porn is fantasy. Porn isn't educational. Porn is the exact opposite of educational. Like, it's like learning to drive from a NASCAR event. No, there's no traffic lights in a NASCAR event. Um, but so even people in the porn industry are concerned about this. And... We are living in an age that is so terrified of sex, not for like the health reasons that um, we had in the 90s, that if you got AIDS, it was a death sentence because the drugs didn't exist back then. The only way um, to not get sick is to not get sick, like just safe sex, use a condom, know your partner, talk. We had to talk about sex because people were dying from it. Now it's not so much that. Now it's the culture around sex. It's the whole consent discussion, all that stuff. And we're, we're like regressing in terms of our bluntness about the topic. And I actually think things were better in the 90s that way, that there were very no holds barred shows where people could call in and it would be so easy to do now on the internet like just maybe I should do this maybe I should my, my sex with red red light district or something like that but YouTube would demonetize that instantly like it would have to be completely like alternative funding or have a sponsor or something like that, because you couldn't make money off of YouTube, it would instantly be demonetized because of the topic. And these are public health services. Like, this is something that people should be talking about. It's important to talk about, because apparently, if you don't talk about it, people get their information from porn. And I just realized I had a blanket in the background from my last two videos. Ugh.
Still working that out. Whoops, what I knock over? Oopsie. Okay, but I thought I'd just share that odd little thing for people who weren't really old enough to be aware of things in the 90s. Yeah, that's what it was like back then. Um, we have not always lived in this scared of sex, Puritan pop culture zeitgeist. It was different um, during that era. And I think at some point it will open up again because the funny thing is in all this claims of consent, 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 we're not actually talking about the act that people are consenting to because, oh God, no, 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 no. Our, our children, our children, our children. Let me tell you something. You talk to your kids about sex. When, when your parents start talking to you about sex, it seems a lot less like something you want to go out and do. My parents handed me a book because I like to read. And I was like, this book seems a bit iffy. So I went on and got tech. I actually read textbooks. I read sex textbooks because I was that kind of nerd. But I knew. I knew what it was about. And it, I actually did find it demystified it. And I never had that curious about porn phase. <laughs> Worked. Interviewed a lot of adult film stars. And around the same era with Sex with Sue. But, um, you know, I, I never had that curiosity, that, that taboo feeling of, oh, I want to watch porn because people having sex. Ooh. I never had that. And I think it was because sex was treated like any other subject. Um, like something that deserved discussion. Now it's this weird, verboten, not good topic. And I don't think that's healthy. I don't think that's good. Uh, I'm going to have to think about this, this live sex show. Sex and video games. That would be a funny Twitch stream, eh? Like, watch me play games and ask me questions about sex. Would that work? Or would that violate terms of service? Let me know. Help support this channel. Become a monthly patron. Patreon.com slash Leanna K. Thanks for watching.